What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about upcoming shoes that are coming out from now until late until early next year. So, let's get into the video. The first shoe I'm going to be talking about is the Yeezy 350 Boost Black. It's coming out later in August, August 22nd to be exact. It is going to have black prime knit upper with full boost midsole, just like the gray model, and will cost $200. And it'll be coming out August 22nd. It's a really nice shoe. I'm definitely going to be trying to cop this shoe. On my list, I have it as three stars, which means I totally want to get this shoe. And I can't wait for it to come out early, um, soon. If the next shoe I'm going to be talking about is uh, the Jordan 9 Anorak. It is pretty much an all black Jordan 9. It's going to cost $190. It's coming out September 2nd, uh, 7th. An all black new book. And the uh, a jump man on the midsole and hints of white on the laces and stuff like that. So it's pretty much an all black shoe, all new buck, which is a very nice quality shoe. Definitely gonna be a nice shoe. I don't know if 100% I'm gonna cop it for me. It only has one star, so I'll think about getting it, but I'm it's 100%. The next shoe I'm gonna be talking about is the Jordan 8 Three Times the Charm. This shoe will be coming out October 24th of this year. It will cost $190. Uh, this shoe is named the way it is due to Jordan winning uh, six championships in two three-peats. Uh, it will be white, bright, Concord, black, infrared, new, uh, it's a new colorway that has never been released before. And definitely is not a great colorway. I'm not going to be trying to cop this shoe at all. And uh, let's go on to the next shoe. The next shoe I'm going to be talking about is also another colorway I'm not a big fan of. This is the Jordan 7 Sweater. It is pretty much an all-white shoe with like a sweater-looking thing like on the side, like accents. I don't really like it at all, pretty much. It's going to be $190. comes out November 14th of this year. It is made to, uh, to re represent the sweater Jordan wore in his McDonald's commercial that he was a part of. Uh, it's going to be white, solar blue, black, varsity red, and bright concord. Not at all, shoe. I'm trying to cop at all. Not even thinking about it any bit at all. Anyway, let's get on to the next shoe right now. Next shoe we're going to be talking about is the Jordan 8 Aqua. This shoe is going to be costing $190 as well. It's going to be releasing the day before my birthday, November 27th of 2015. It has, this shoe is made of black nubuck. And it was first seen in 1993 at the All-Star Game in Salt Lake City, Utah. The last time this shoe came out was in 2013. And I'm really happy this shoe is coming out this year. I'm definitely going to be trying to cop this shoe. Uh, for my list, as one star, meaning I'm going to try to cop it, but I'm not 100% about copying it. Definitely is one of my favorite eights. And I can't wait to get it. Next shoe I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 8 Chrome. This variation of the 8 Chrome is not going to be an OG though. Uh, this first came out in 2003. This will be costing $190. And it, it's going to be coming out December 12th, 2015, which is a week before the 11s. So I'm definitely not going to be trying to copy this shoe at all, c considering they come out so close to the 11s, and I'm really trying to get those 11s. Uh, the colorway is chrome, gray, white, and black. It's pretty much a really minimalistic colorway. Not that great. I would try to get it if it wasn't so close to the 11s. But anyways, let's go on to the next shoe. The next shoe, we're now getting to some some heat now, is the Air Jordan 11 7210. As you probably already know, this uh, color, colorway was inspired by the 1995-96 uh, NBA campaign of the Bulls where they had 72 wins and only lost 10 games. And this was their fourth championship. The shoe will cost $220, coming out December 19th of this year, how they released. This shoe has pad lighter on it, which has pretty nice, like, reflective on it. So, like, when you're walking in the light, you see, like, it looks like it's kind of, like, stars on it or something. But, like, some speckles on it, which are really nice, in my opinion. There's also a uh, suede overlays, white midsole. And the sole is rumored to grow in the dark. The sole is all white. So and clear, so hope, supposedly it's gonna glow in the dark, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. One of my favorite Jordans are releasing this year is probably gonna be the Jordan 11s. Next year, though, definitely not even close. So let's get on to the shoes that are releasing next year. The first shoe is the Air Jordan 2 Alternate 87. The shoe is rumored only cost $170. I mean, it's a must cop for me. It's a uh, 
coming out January 9th, uh, 2016 in black and red, which is a really nice colorway, in my opinion, one of my favorite colors. It symbolizes MJ's PE, uh, which would have released first for the Jordan 2s, but didn't, but also is a very nice colorway nonetheless, and I'm definitely going to be trying to cop this color. So the next shoe we're talking about is the Jordan 5 Alternate 90. This also is a black and red shoe, releasing January 13th, 30th, 2016. It also has a 3M tongue, which is very nice. It also is a low shoe, so it's not my favorite kind of shoe, but I definitely will might be getting the shoes. Also, my shoes I, I might try to get, but I'm not 100% about, which is one star. The Jordan 2 also had one star. Anyway, let's get on to the next shoe. We are now on the last three shoes that I'm going to talk about. So this shoe is the Air Jordan 4 OG 89 White Cements, which this shoe, I'm going to try my best. I will kill someone to get these shoes. I'm definitely going to have to get these shoes. They'll be costing $220. If you don't know what the OG means, it's going to have a Nike Air right in the back of the shoe, which is amazing. It's the white cements, the best colorway, one of the best colorways of the Jordan 4, in my opinion. It is the white cement and black and red. It's going to have a Nike Air on the back, like I said. Super hot fire shoe. We'll all, um, this will be as close to the OG release as possible, is what they're saying. So this shoe should be really nice. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of high quality materials. Definitely going to be a nice shoe to cop. I would definitely love to get two of them, but I doubt I will be able to get two of them. Anyways, let's get on to the next shoe. The next shoe is also a very nice Air Jordan 4. This is the Alternate 89s. Uh, this shoe will be coming out February 13, 2016 in white and fire red. This shoe is also coming out the same day as the Air Jordan 4 OG 89s, which is bad because I want to get both of them, but I don't know if I can. This shoe has a one star because I don't know if I'm going to be getting them just because the Air Jordan 4 OGs are coming out the same day. Uh, the shoe is going to be white, fire red, black, and te uh, tech gray. And it has a lot of tumble leather and it looks like it has some kind of suede on it on different parts of the shoe. I don't know yet. It's not confirmed, but definitely the shoe looks really nice. And hopefully I can cop this shoe and do a review on it for you guys and stuff like that. So the last shoe we've been talking about is also a very super hot fire shoe coming out next year. This is the Jordan 12. Master. This is going to be coming out February 27, 2016. All black with gold hints on it, which is a really nice shoe. I can't, I can't wait for this shoe to come out. I'm definitely going to be trying to cop it. It's uh, inspired by a poster that Michael Jordan was all called The Master. And it's a really nice shoe. All black 12. Probably one of my favorite 12. If this shoe does come, when this shoe comes out, it's definitely going to be my favorite 12. Probably going to be one of the only 12s I'll ever cop. Because I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 12. Kind of looks like a boot to me. But those 12s are very nice. And I can't wait for them to come out. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video of me talking about a lot of shoes and like information about the shoes coming out very soon. I'll probably be doing a lot more sh shoe videos like this. Maybe uh, more videos like this just on one particular shoe and talk about more information. So I have more time to do that on just one shoe. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment down below if you want to do something else, um, other videos or anything else. Maybe I'm going to be doing a review on those soon. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.